We are Yahav from UC Berkeley and Lars from KIT, and this is Speed Folding. When I started the PhD in robotics, my older sister had a single request. She said, please build a robot that can fold my laundry. This task is tedious, time consuming, and can be non-trivial even for humans. Although robots have the potential to automate garment folding, there are still many challenges to overcome as garments have a complex configuration space, nonlinear dynamics, and the task is sequential. There's lots of great related work on garment smoothing, where the goal is to flatten an initially crumpled garment. One of the main challenges is to increase the speed, as these methods require a large number of interactions. A recent breakthrough by Han Song showed how to use dynamic motions on a bimanual robot to rapidly smooth a garment, achieving around 80% garment coverage within a few interactions, a significant speed up over prior works. For garment folding, prior works either focused on learning goal condition policies starting from a smooth fabric, or on heuristics that achieve high success rates but had long cycle times with a throughput of three to six folds per hour. The focus of this work is efficient end-to-end -end folding system. The key is efficiency, measured by folds per hour, of end-to-end -end folding, manipulating the fabric from an arbitrary configuration to a desired goal configuration. We use an ABB Yumi with 3D printed pinch grippers and place a thin foam mattress on the workspace to allow the grippers to reach below the garment improving grasping reliability and speed. We use an RGBD camera to estimate the garment configuration and an additional RGB camera with a larger field of view to compute the garment coverage. To increase the speed when manipulating the garment from an arbitrary configuration to a folded goal configuration, we decouple the problem. First, bring the fabric to a canonical configuration, smoothing, and then follow a fixed set of instructions to achieve the goal configuration, folding. Traditionally, the goal of smoothing is to maximize the garment's coverage area of the workspace. To achieve that, we develop the following by manual motion primitives. Inspired by Hein Song, we developed a fling primitive. Given two peak poses, this primitive will lift the garment, stretch it, and accelerate forward and backwards to unfold the garment, also using the friction with the workspace to smooth it on the table. Next, we have the drag motion that drags the garment for a fixed distance away from the garment's center of mask, leveraging the friction with the workspace to smooth wrinkles or corners, for example, sleeves folded below the garment. Given a pick and a corresponding place pose, the robot executes a quasi-static pick and place action to fix local faults such as corners or sleeves folded on top of the garment. We have the motion primitives. Now all we need to figure out is where to grasp. A common approach is to compute a pixel-wise value map and take the argmax over all pixels. By extending this, to two corresponding poses is challenging, since it is a multimodal problem where a value map may contain multiple non-corresponding peaks. By Mamanet, a novel neural network architecture for bimanual manipulation addresses this by learning a conditioned value map over pairs of correspondence descriptors, essentially predicting how well a pair of poses will perform for each primitive. As the goal is to maximize the garment's coverage area of the workspace, one question we investigated was how do we know when the garment is sufficiently smooth for folding? We observed that several garment configurations had similar coverage, but some also had wrinkles that would lead to suboptimal folds. So we trained a binary classifier on images we manually labeled as sufficiently smooth to address the features that aren't accounted for by coverage area and increase the system reliability. We design a database and an annotation software 
and start data collection by providing labels manually. Then, we iteratively train a self-supervised data collection neural network, interleaving training and execution for data collection. The robot labels are given with a reward that takes into account both the change in coverage and the change in the classifier's confidence. Once the garment is sufficiently smooth, the robot is ready to fold it. The first approach we use allows the user to define garment-specific folding lines as a template. During execution, the robot will match the given template to the current orientation of the garment and follow the lines to fold. As the goal is to increase the folds per hour, we consider two optimizations. The fling to fold combines the fling with the first folding step, reducing one imaging step from the cycle. And we can even remove the sensing steps entirely. The two second fold is an ancient Japanese method to fold t-shirts very quickly. Using this technique, we reduce the folding time compared to the folding lines as it doesn't require taking images between steps at all, but it is less reliable and more prone to errors. Now that we've covered both smoothing and folding, the full pipeline starts with sensing the current state of the garment and determining whether it's sufficiently smooth. If it is, the robot then follows the folding steps as described earlier. Otherwise, my MamaNet predicts the primitive and the grass points to further smooth it and repeat. We compare the performance of my MamaNet with the following baselines. Max value map, a variant that computes the peak points directly without the correspondence descriptors. Only flings, a variant restricted to fling actions only. And the pre-trained weights from the flingbot paper. Our experiments show that by MamaNet can increase the coverage of a known t-shirt in five to six smoothing actions, faster than baselines in prior works. By MamaNet also achieves 30 to 40 folds per hour, compared to three to six in prior works, with a success rate of over 90%. When comparing the different folding methods, we observe the following trade-off. The two second fold has a shorter duration However, it is less reliable than the folding lines. The fling to fold method is both efficient and reliable, but requires knowing the garment's dimensions in advance. Finally, we explored how speed folding, trained on a single t-shirt, can generalize to garments unseen during training. On a t-shirt with different colors and thickness, my MamaNet achieves 20 folds per hour. On a towel, my MamaNet achieves 53 folds per hour, but requires training a specific sufficiently smooth classifier and providing specific folding lines. This task is also a part of the RoboCup at Home Challenge, where the high-level goal is to develop service and assistive robot technology with high relevance for future personal domestic applications. This system is far from being complete and has various limitations that can lead to exciting future work. First, the small workspace limits the size of the garment. We also encounter a few failure modes due to grass failures or kinematic errors. Lastly, the speed of the robot arms limits the performance of the system. In future work, we will explore additional optimizations as well as methods that can learn to manipulate a novel garment given a few demonstrations. To summarize our contributions, we presented by MamaNet, a novel architecture for bimanual manipulation that computes two corresponding planar gripper poses without any spatial restrictions with an automated calibration procedure to account for robot reachability constraints. An end-to-end -end robotic system for efficient smoothing and folding, and an experimental dataset from physical experiments showing a 10x increase in folds per hour compared to prior works. Our contacts and website are listed here. Please feel free to reach out.